Alright. EDF5, because after a day's at work, I just want to chill and relax and have, you know, some fun. Alright, what was I doing? What was I on? Spreading disaster. Okay, yes, yeah, the, uh... Giant spiders. Let's take, uh, firecracker again. I don't really think there could be any use for anything. So, I'm just gonna take armor. It's, you know, it's bland to take armor because that's just like the go-to. Just buff your guy's stats instead of something more nifty. But, uh, eh, for this level of vehicle, really, I can't see a vehicle working out at all. The Lord's flying saucers are dropping monsters! They can shoot threats! Try to take out the monsters and protect the citizens! The large flying saucers that deploy monsters will be called teleportation ships from now on. Isn't there a way to shoot down the teleportation ships? What level does the Spriggins no show up in? Are these the Spriggins? The hull of the teleportation ship seems to be protected by some kind of barrier. We can't even no. make a scratch. I think it's like next level they show up or something. Large flying saucers! There are too many of them. If they all start deploying monsters, we won't be able to kill them all. There's no way to take down those large flying saucers? What the hell is the Air Force doing? I also don't know what a uh, good amount of armor to have should be. I'm gonna kill myself. I gotta kill myself. Oh boy. It's only a matter of time till we run out of gas. We must find a way to break through. The Air Force is preparing a new type of aircraft now. A new type? Does that mean there's a way to destroy the teleportation ships? Perhaps. But it will take some time. Some time. How long will it take? About two months. All right, girls, come with me. So that means it'll be to our disadvantage for the next two months. Possible. All we can do now is defeat the monsters and prevent more damage. Wow, only... Okay, there's only two of them left. I was gonna say, only the commander died, but... It's not the truth. The monsters are outside! Do something! Now is the time. Yes. Yeah. It's about time. I will down the enemy. Let's not have them directly fall on my head. Get this tree out of the way. They're dropping monsters again. There's no end to this. If we don't come up with something fast, it'll become a monster carnival. It's a monster nation. I don't think we can hold them off long enough for the Air Force to destroy the flying saucers. Is the whole world like this now? The end of the world is coming. I can't believe it. Oh, poor girl. Pull it together. We'll be okay after we defeat the monsters. Oh, Sarge and his boys are dead. Monsters! Monsters are running in the street! God, that thing almost killed me. Incoming Lord 
with flying saucers. They gave my girls back up though. I want to be an idol. You want to be an idol? I've never heard yes, him say that before. Take this. The end of the world. At this rate. Oh shit. I'm in a bad place. I should be over there. But I'm not. Oh damn. It's a perfect camp. Oh damn it. There are far more monsters than we can handle. At this rate, it's only a matter of time ah, till our society it. collapses. Well, currently in the story, Jimmy, uh, you're a civilian. So I'm not actually an EDF soldier yet. Alright, girls, you keep them busy. Okay, this is bad, actually. There's so many of them. This is a war situation report. Looking at the big picture, we have the upper hand. Okay, I'm gonna run. Although aliens keep dropping monsters, the EDF has exterminated more than half of them. Girls, keep up. Suppressing the threat from the enemy successfully. If I use the explosive, it's gonna destroy all my cover. ...of a new weapon, which will be able to turn the tides of war. The new weapon will be completed in two months, and will be deployed in all areas in four months. It will be able to destroy large flying saucers, so it will give us a chance to defeat yeah, go. the alien armada. Eh. Oh, one of my girls is dead. Yeah, the other one's screwed. There's no way she's getting out of it. She must have got stuck on a building or something. Oh, look, she's fine. She's still kicking somehow. Oh god, she's dead. They're all coming after me now. Oh man, what the hell's up? My freaking internet just took a shit. I see. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Uh, because there's other... The speed that I'm at is because uh, I buffed my stats with a specific armor. You can choose from different armor types and it'll buff your guy in different ways. And uh, when you take other armor sets that make your sprinting faster. It's the same animation, just played faster. It looks really goofy. Alright, see, now that's a good spot to just unleash hell on him. Don't you dare. Oh god. Okay, I'm st still kind of close to death. I'm gonna grab that health. Yeah. But Doom can get away with it. You know, usually I say, I will say stuff like old games get away with stuff a lot more than new games because of the fact that they're old. But the fact that Doom does have only so many frames of animation for, you know, it being 2D sprite monsters actually helps it in that regard. It doesn't look as goofy when the pinkies go really fast. Yeah. Civilian, you are stronger and braver than anyone else. You know what to do, right? Yes. When the whole world turns into a battlefield. What the hell is my, my fucking internet has been really shitty lately. It's being a real pain in the ass.
Well, that's good, because OBS is showing, a. Uh, there's that, like, square. Anyone who uses OBS knows there's, like, that square that shows, like, your internet quality. And green means all good, and red being really bad. And it's, like, dipping between orange and red. It's, yeah. Uh, wait. Oh, shit. I didn't bring up the... The, uh, limits guide. So I don't know what weapon le what level I can use. Because I don't want to cheat. Well, I don't want to cheat too much. I still want to have some honor in this playthrough. Uh, so what mission number? 13? Okay, so 13 means I can only use level 66 weapons. Okay. Yeah, Tarm again. And then I would just use a super acid gun for the ants. Now I'm gonna be uh, an EDF soldier. So now I'm an actual uniform instead of the security guard. So true, comrade. What? My goofy uh, colors are gone. You look like you mean oh no, they're there. Trust you have my it just had to like load in. Hey newbie, does the army ration suit your palate? Me and the boys. Uh, after five months of war, the situation has only gotten worse. <laughs> That's because we put all our hopes on the air force. How are the new types doing? They were all destroyed. Yeah, <laughs> get a zoom in on the uh, no on the ass. Scow the teleportation ships. There's only one successful case so far, and that was with the use of tactical nuclear weapons. I see. But we do not recommend this. We won't be able to salvage the teleportation ships if we use nukes. Hey, you're running the wrong way, dude. That Everyone's running the other way. not the problem. Save me! Save me! Oh, sorry. I didn't respond to uh, what you said. So, on, uh, you can't, m civilians are invincible until they just despawn. So they only exist for, like, like a minute, and then they'll just stop existing. So, when you play online, uh, the way EDF should be played, really, uh, it limits how much health and what weapons you can use on a certain mission. But when you play single player, there are no limits. So you can use any weapon on any mission and have as much health as you want on any mission. So even though I'm playing single player, I'm following the rules of multiplayer. So I'm only using weapons that are allowed to be used if I was playing on a multiplayer. Because if I was if I was just using every gun that you could use, I could just use the DLC weapons and just like instantly like mow down every guy, and that wouldn't be uh, much of a challenge. is developing a new type of aircraft, which will be able to destroy the enemy's shield. The development will be completed soon. Now that the attacks by the new types failed. Guys, nice. shut do up. Is keep killing monsters. We've lost 20% of the total population. I don't know. Soon the human race will I guess my my idea is just like they were like, "Oh, people that are playing single player are just like goofing around and playing with weapons and whatnot." And they put more time in balancing multiplayer than they did single player. Because yeah, like I said, they uh Sergeant. Good luck. It's mainly a multiplayer series. This is outpost 48, calling for backup. We can't hold them off any longer. We lost half our men! We have to retreat! This is but that being said, this acid gun that I have is super OP. 
Like, this this weapon is a level 55 weapon, I believe. Or, weapon, it's a level 58. And it is crazy powerful for being a level 58 weapon. Now we can say goodbye to the monsters. Like these guys disintegrate. So the enemies didn't expect that they could break through their defense and approach from the ground. It's hopeless! Abandon the base! The enemies are almost at the gate now! We can still make it! Run for your lives! Amazing job. Well done. Amazing job. This vital information will bring us closer to victory. I'm sending it to the whole world now. Yeah, I'm gonna wait until this one opens up. There we go. Red light inside the hatch. The red light might be the teleportation device. Hey. Attention, everyone. This is the chief commander. The chief commander. The attack is still underway. The entire Earth has become a battlefield, and people everywhere are in harm's way. Our attack against the alien spaceship remains ineffective, and there is nothing we could do for now. But ETF always prevails, and until we can launch a full-fledged counter-strike, I hope the ground units can keep exterminating the monsters and protecting our citizens. This is a tough war. But I expect all of us to <laughs> yeah, it's a greatly. tough war. Oh man, I, I didn't, uh, I completely didn't bring up my, uh, one of my favorite lines in this game. Is when the, uh, HQ, EDF HQ asks how much of the, uh, human race has been killed since, uh, the aliens attack. And, uh, the intel girl says, 20%. And he says, 20%? That doesn't sound too bad. That's such a great line. And I completely wasn't paying attention. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that guy just sprayed me right in the back. Before I finish reloading, friends, don't go crazy, newcomer. Ah, uh, don't worry, Sarge. It's not too hard. Destroy the giant ship. Ooh. Yeah, see, this will be fun. Uh, EMC will probably be too much money for this level. I don't think I'd be able to... I might be able to get it by the time the uh, alien soldiers show up. But I really... Uh, I don't know about that. Sixty-seven. Have any good shotguns yet? Yeah, we can use a shotgun. Hmm. No, those ones are too. They're too used. Those are two, like, go-to weapons. I don't want to just take, like, the, like, the standard, oh, just use these weapons. I'll take the Lysander. Hmm. I wonder if I could take the Brute. 
Yeah, they're too mainstream. Just like the acid gun you saw me using. People go like, well, it does, you know, incredible damage. Just use that weapon. Oh, I'm not on destroy giant ship. I'm on extermination. Oh, for crying out loud. Now my setup's all wrong. Ah, uh, let's still take a vehicle. Why not? And, uh... Yeah, let's use the firecrackers again. Because those are fun to use. It's the... It's the meta. That's what I'd say. It's the meta. Protect the civilians! Exterminate the monsters! <laughs> Newbie, time to show your courage! Fire! These are species of the monster. They're no match for us. You spawn the trees, please. I think these are the Spriggans. I think this is the introduction to them. I'm not completely sure. They just kind of show up later in the game. If we don't exterminate the monsters immediately, there will be casualties. Newbie, stay close. But I think this is the. Monsters are coming from underground. Seems like they dug holes and they're hiding underground. For a new recruit, you handle yourself pretty good. Why, thank you. Thank you. Did you call your I love you. She was going home for. Container, Those civilians are trying to escape. Protect the civilians. Monsters, exterminate them. Ah, that's such stupid bullshit. Maybe we can learn how to destroy the golden armor. Just blasted my own car. Come on. We've received reports about two teleportation ships being shot down in New York and three in London. <laughs> in New York. We're gradually seizing the initiative of the war. Don't underestimate the enemy. We only jeopardized their plan A. I'm sure they'll start the next wave of attack. <laughs> We thought about that too, but we should have some time before the enemy start plan B. All we can do now is try to weaken <laughs> their combat strength. Hey, I believe this is the first time uh, an EDF game has been translated in-house. Because EDF 4 and EDF 4 and EDF 2, I know for a fact, were translated uh, by a company. 
like it's a company called X Seed. It was not done in house by D3 Publisher. I think this is the first time they actually did their own English voice acting. Oh my god! No, my car, please. Stay away. Attention, everyone. This is the chief commander. Oh man, they're ripping me apart. We discovered an overwhelming, gigantic ship among the flying objects. Oh. The pylons crashing from the skies are also oh, that sucks. by this ship. This type of ship is now designated as Mother Ship. Taking down the Mother Ship will be our ultimate goal. He's talking about that massive thing, right? So, if we destroy that thing, the aliens will be doomed. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can. Oh, let's see. If I go to, uh... Oh, I think you can... Yeah, you have to do it uh, between missions. You can't change... You can't change it from English to Japanese Golly, during a mission. All we have to do is shoot oh, do it next level. Like our chances. <laughs> Furthermore, we've identified a total of ten motherships. They are scattered around the world and are continuously launching pylons. We must take down all ten of them. Oh, ten of them. Ten of those? Uh. I don't think the Air Force is capable of taking down ten of them. Look at this, I don't even have enough money for another vehicle. A few and my first one there. just got wiped out without doing anything. Only a few remain. Civilians are coming our way. All right, girls. Did they just come from Aha. <laughs> the enemies are coming from underground. Did they just come from underground? A mothership has appeared in Europe. It silently hovers over a city. It must be on to something. We think this is a good opportunity. We're planning an operation to attack the mothership. Dude, so many of them uh, went over to the left. failed but if we approach the mothership from the ground it is possible to do some damage I don't know where she's getting that info from Let's go. Dude, the freaking the two remaining enemies are like on the other side of the map System settings. Hmm. Wait, how do you change it? Maybe it isn't system settings. Oh yeah, here's language. Yeah, see, text language English, and then voice language uh, Japanese. So now it's in the original Japanese. So this, uh, 
I'll take the Lysander, even though I'm pretty sure it's uh, gonna be too... It's gonna be pretty weak. You see, the thing about, you know, people talk about dubs and subs, but, uh... I personally am not that big of a fan of the Japanese language. See, now you can... See, is this so much better? Oh, damn it. That's what I'm saying. See, I don't prefer any of these voices over the English voices. Ah. <laughs> Airy. <laughs> Alright, see, now here's the strut about this vehicle. Okay, so I'm gonna call this vehicle in. Marines can't take out one little bird. Come on, guys. Okay, so this is a helicopter, but this is a brute helicopter. You don't actually use this helicopter to fly. You use it as a turret. Uh-oh, something's coming. Real life aliens, I can't believe they're real. No, it does fly, but uh, it's more useful as a turret than as an actual flying machine. I think I dropped these guys. Oh man, just look at the power of this thing. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh, whoops. Misfire. 
Oh, they're gonna bust it though. They're being smart and getting to around it. Ah, jerk. All right, girls, you just keep distracting him. Easy. <laughs> I mean, they are giant frogs. That's literally what they're supposed to be. And here's an idiot that's, uh, for some reason, stuck. So, yeah, look at this. How cool this is. I can cripple him. So, if you shoot off his leg... He's still alive. This is actually, I believe, the first M-rated EDF game. All the other EDF games were teen. This is the first rated M one. Because of the new, like, gore system they added to this game. Oh no! Oh my god. So, what I just did was a very silly thing. The level was actually supposed to end when they came down. So, all I had to do is wait like two seconds. I didn't care about dying because you just have to live for like two seconds and it, the mission just ends. But I didn't last two seconds. <laughs> oh, man. Oh no, it's still counted. It's still counted. Never mind. We're all good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You still succeeded. You still did your job. Yeah, I'm gonna try using an EMC, but the EMC is so expensive, I don't know if I'll actually... I'll actually be able to use it in this map. Oh no, I didn't change it back to English. See, that's Sarge. Sarge has a much better voice in English. I mean... Maybe it's because I don't speak Japanese, but all of these dudes just sound so similar. Okay. Alright, blow your- oh shit, that triggered a lot of bad guys. Hey, I see the Lysander. Man, it does so little damage. Oh my god, I did not think that, like, the entire level was gonna trigger when shooting one guy.
<laughs> ah, okay. No, that was a really bad play. Yeah, it's such a small... It's just a small island country. Hmm. Who should I attack first? Like, all of these dudes are gonna trigger as soon as I actually attack. Hmm. I'm just gonna try and squeeze between these buildings and see if I can wipe them out from there. Yeah, what are you guys doing here? Hmm? Oh my, the Lysander is a worthless weapon. <laughs> The only good Lysander is the DLC Lysander. All of the main game Lysanders are sadly uh, disappointing. Oh, nice. Hey. You just sandwich yourself between two buildings and you're uh, you're good to go. Ah, he disappeared. All right, let's get the boys together. Yeah, it's good. I do like that EDF, yeah. There's so damn many of them. Very nice. Oh, crap. Yeah. Uh, like, there's actual damage textures on the enemies in this game. Uh, one of the very lame things about the past CDF games, sadly, is, uh, none of the actual, like, living organisms actually had damage textures. But in this game, when you shoot an enemy, like, you know, like, actual gore will show up on their body. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's why I got an M rating. Mm, these buildings are not as nice as the other buildings from before. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Boys. Oh no! They got triggered anyways. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, but does Doom Eternal have legit dismembering? Oh man, I'm so sorry I shot that Marine right in the back. ジホードです。
Oh yeah, I got DMC. We can have some fun with it. I can, yeah, okay, I just bust through buildings. Oh, this is just one lone frog chilling out over here. Hey, bro. I mean, they're pretty much all of them. I mean, uh, they got little details. <laughs> Restaurant. Kokuriko. 77 Market. Fresh vegetables, fresh meats, and fresh fruits. And Boutique Kalum. <laughs> Over here is the shopping center. As you can plainly see, Mistral, Bar, All Your Base, classic reference to that uh, meme video game. I thought that was G-Mobile for a second, but it's just Mobile Mobile. Alright, enough looking at the buildings. Oh, I'm gonna vaporize that dude. Oh no, I pushed him into cover. Triggered? Are you boys triggered or not? Oh well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, okay, this seems like a good spot. Burn. Oh, what? Get immense pleasure from the EMC. When EMC works, it's very pleasurable. Vaporize. Come on, frogs. Come, don't hide. Yeah. 
It's a real damn shame that it doesn't bust down buildings. It really... I guess it's supposed to be like a, you know, like a electricity gun? I mean, it would make scorch marks, but I don't think it would bust down a, a door. I mean, a building. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, I see. That would be big brain. Okay, let's go back to English. Mastermind. Oh, this is a great level. Alright, Mastermind. Which, uh... I get level 68. What can I do with 68? Oh, the slaughter. I have to use the slaughter. Now that I'm able to use it. Should I take grenades? Max. Mm hmm. Sure. And I'm gonna have some fun with uh, a bike. I'm gonna cruise around the city. 2,000 health actually might be kind of low for this level. But I have a bike, so it should be fine. Not only the aliens, but the monsters are here too! The monsters aren't attacking the aliens! Maybe the monsters don't attack those who are larger than them? <laughs> we're gonna attack the monsters. We have to get to a better position. Let's head to the ground. I'll commence operation. Let's go. Show it to the monsters. Head to the ground. Hurry. Looks like the aliens are commanding the oh. monsters. How bad was that? Monsters can understand orders given by the aliens? Stay in. Oh, the red ants are coming. That slaughter shotgun too powerful. All right, let's dump this Dreadful beastmasters! Dreadful beastmasters! As the weapons, the cruelest, most brutal weapons imaginable. Gimme. Drop off. So uh, let's throw the other bike over here. I've confirmed dropping coordinates. Hell yeah. Alright, yeah, yeah, we play it smart. We play it smart. Uh, wow, that actually hurt the bike a lot, running into that car. Uh, EDF is, uh, you know, very technologically advanced, and that's why the weapons are so great. They do look a lot like us. Weapons. If you don't kill them, you'll be killed. Goddamn aliens! Rampaging on Earth as they please. Are they trying to turn Earth into a ranch? There are seven billion human footers on Earth. The monsters will be well raised. 
Uh, well, there is the aerator. You know, the aerator ha is a more vehicle-focused class, as well as, you know, him doing his air raids and whatnot. I'm playing as the ranger, and uh, the ranger does have some good vehicles, like the rail, the high-level railguns are good. EMC is good. EMC has a lot of health and can, well, you know, tank a lot of damage. Uh, and also the brute helicopters work fantastic as uh, turrets, more than they do actual helicopters. Like, you saw me, like, one-shotting these frogs with the brute helicopter. Okay, so this is where things get scary, and this is why I said 2,000 health might be a bit low for this. But, like I said, I have bikes. I should be fine. Oh god, I should- See, there's the gold ants. Gold ants are very scary. And they can live a, uh, rocket. Alright. Peel out. See, I won't get hit with the power of motorcycles. I'm gonna run back here with my boys. Alright, boys. <laughs> oh my god, them golds. The frogs are jerks. Later. <laughs> that corpse just got flung. Uh! Oh my god. Please, motorcycle. Alright, I'll take off this direction. Reload, reload, reload. Oh my god, I just like killed all my marines in that. God, there's so many gold ants. For those unfamiliar with the EDF series, Gold Ants can one-shot you. Red Blood? I, I don't... No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, see, I'm really far away. God, look how much red is on the radar. I see them. I see him. I see him. Oh my god, the turn- Oh god, I'm fucked. Ah! <laughs> Go. The, the handling on this motorcycle is really bad. This is a special news flash. The aliens dispatched infantry units to Europe, but the EDF was sent in to engage the enemy. <laughs> because not the having country. red blood is alien, Jimmy. <laughs> That's why. Okay, I see. You're close to me. God, go away. Yeah. And Halo was a more serious game. And it still didn't even have aliens with red blood. I wish I brought a sniper rifle. Now, at this moment, it w the explosives were nice at the beginning of the level, but now, I'm here. If I had a sniper rifle, I could be killing these gold ants much quicker.
Oh god, I don't have the shotgun reloaded. Good thing that uh, Gold Ant decided to not attack. Hey, oh yeah. Somebody's right next to me. I don't know if it's a red ant. Oh god, that's a gold ant. No, don't hit me. Yeah, no, honestly, I think you're kind of right about Halo 1. Like, Halo 1 is not a very violent game. The only time there's, like, a lot of blood is when you, uh, keep shooting corpses. Other than that, it's pretty, uh, like, conservative. Target coordinates confirmed. We'll drop from right above. Blammo. Container, drop. I got brand new this ride. Dropping complete. Get on the view. Uh, I think we can chill. We can be a bit, uh, aggressive, I think. Watch as that blows up in my face. Yeah, sure. Easy. Great, now I'm gonna have to hunt down these guys. They're so spread out. Nobody cares. After you get the slaughter shotgun, like, and by that I mean, like, specifically the slaughter shotgun I have right now, the red ants just, like, become a non threat for the rest of the campaign. Very sad. And this red ant is stuck. And the mutant variant, the mutant variants of the red ants suck, as in they're pathetic. Like, to be considered mutants, they are pathetic. And it's the same as uh, EDF4. EDF2 and 3, the uh, red ant mutants were much more... Uh, like, they had a fuckload of health. Like, a ridiculous buff in health. So, I'm pretty sure that's why they, uh, nerfed them in 4 and 5. But I think they nerfed them too much. At this point, it's like, they're barely different than the normal red ants. 50s... wait, what? Yeah, yeah, it's still 68. Uh, it's coming out in Japan in uh, 2021, which means it probably won't make it to the West until 2022. Very sad. I would love to, uh, you know, get my hands on it right away, but, uh... Yeah. 
Yeah. Hey, <laughs> consider importing it from Japan and playing through it in Japanese. Where you can't read any of the text. This is Ranger 2. We will attack when the last member arrives. Alright, I forget Monsters! what happens in this level. This is Ranger 2! Being attacked by monsters now! Newman, Ranger 2 went ahead and is engaged in combat now. Go join them now. Fire at the monsters! It's funny, uh, EDF Iron Rain is uh, the first EDF game that was released worldwide all on the same day. But Iron Rain is supposed to be a Western EDF game, so it was targeted at Western audiences. So I guess it got spe special treatment. This is an underground level, so, you know, go with the classic fireball. Shoot them once they're in range. Okay. But they, the underground levels in this game are better than the underground levels in EDF 4. Like, the EDF 4 underground levels are, like, like, ridiculously bad. Well, in Iron Rain, uh, there are no... Classes are not specified by gender, because you have a customizable character. You can make your own character, and dress them up in all funny outfits and whatnot. Which I think that shit is cancer. Like, customizable characters in video games, I think are stupid because it's just like oh dude look at my epic lamau character haha ha. isn't that hilarious haha ha. it's like just it like the edf is supposed to be a, a military outfit you know like they should have like their uniforms the edf uniform Yeah, burn, Froggy. He still lives. Now he's not alive. But it's like, uh, I don't know, like... It's hard to explain about like what makes it more western than the, the normal the EDF games. The cave is unclear, so be cautious. This mission is very dangerous. Like if we don't the stay, mainline EDF games, you can change your color of your armor. That's good enough. I think they should add a uh, nationality slider. <laughs> a nationality slider. Because, I mean, the game is called EDF, you know? So you should be able to be from anywhere from the Earth, you know? Funny enough, uh, promotional art for EDF 3 actually shows black EDF soldiers. But that is the only... That is the only thing that has black people in any EDF game, is promotional art for the third one. The girls are fighting. We gotta go save them. Assault team spotted. 
I'm here to save you. Oh, they gonna die. Oh, they did. Oh, they did. Oh, they did. Oh, Terrestrial species has been confirmed. It is a larger species compared to species Alpha and species Beta. It's approximately 70 meters long, and it's the largest alien creature we've oh, yeah, ever seen. Oh yeah, so that'll be fine. Because it is biologically much more different from species Alpha. Well, we failed at saving Beta, the girls. It might need its own classification. So, so we time to move on. Urgenus from now on. Strategy talks are underway as we speak. Uh, it's Godzilla from the last game. But they do introduce a new kaiju in this game, so don't worry about that. It's not just the same kaiju from the last game. They have a brand new kaiju in this game. That'll show up later. Come on through, boys. It's like a uh, legally distinct Godzilla. I guess you never saw me and Andrew fight it during our uh, 4.1 playthrough. It'll be too late if they reproduce underground. We have to do something about it. Actually, uh, the Godzilla knockoff, how it looked in EDF 1 and 2 is even more, like, blatantly Godzilla. The follow-on forces are headed to your location. Move out after rendezvous. Are there other teams here besides us? Never expected you could make it this far. Like, the Godzilla knockoff. Like, you look at it and you're like, okay, that's supposed to be Godzilla. But how it looked in EDF 1 and 2, it was literally just frickin' Godzilla. As soon as that guy spawns in, we are done I'm chucking a fireball in that hole. Hey, don't jump out. You're supposed to burn alive in there. Oh, near there. Hey, don't come up behind us. another fireball. They'd be perfect.
didn't expect so many enemies inside. Were all those monsters born inside the cave? What on earth is up ahead? Show it to them once they're in range. And fireball. <laughs> it's too dangerous to move on. Uh, oh, to that's fine. But we should retreat. Alright, I'm thinking for Guinness, uh, Acid Gun, and uh, Firecracker. Probably won't get enough money to get it to use a vehicle even, so won't bother taking one. You just want to kill this guy as quickly as possible. Because he's got so much health. Commence operation. The enemy is coming. The monsters are nothing to be afraid of. Yes, sir! <laughs> Newbie, do your best. We are professional monster exterminators. But don't let your guard down. You'll be dead if you get hit by the acid. The attack on the mysterious monster Urgenus has failed. Urgenus is on the run. This area is on top of the escape route. What did you say? Yeah, what did you say? Oh, jeez, don't, sp don't spray me, bro. Operation failed. Target escaped. I repeat. Operation failed. Target uh -oh. It's playing the Godzilla music. There he is. Can you get hurt? Yeah, you're good. Don't tell me it will pass through. It's already here. If it's too big, it's not like any other monster we've seen before. It's the same quick for its size. Attack! Take explosives. Citizens are in danger. You have to stall the enemy before the tanks arrive. Tanks will arrive momentarily. Hang on. Attack urgent. Yeah, I'm doing it, man. Don't yell at me. This is bull leader. Enemy confirmed. Understood. Commence attack. Support the infantry and protect the tanks. Just bully it into submission. I'm actually kind of concerned now that I'm like, it's so like, ow, yeah. <laughs> I'm all it's focused on. Just arrived. Infantry, fall back behind the tanks. Aren't you? Oh, come on. Oh, man. Exterminate the monsters in this area. Commence operation. The monsters are nothing to be afraid of. Yes, sir! Idiot! Idiot! Newbie, do your best. I will, sir. We are professional monster exterminators. But don't let your gun down. You'll be dead if you get hit by the acid. The attack on the mysterious monster Urgenus has failed. Urgenus is on the run. This area is on top of the escape room. Oh, come on, Marine. Stop sucking. You deserve it. You can trust me. 
This is K6. Operation failed. Target escaped. I repeat, operation failed. Target is on the run. It has to get around this building and then it will have its attention on you. Urgenus will indeed pass through this area. Get this one ant out of here. Okay. Oh, fuck it's off. It's too big. It's unlike any other monster we've seen before. It's deceptively quick for its size. Ah, that time I, I killed myself. All right, whatever. Could do uh, more uh, more standard and just take the slaughter. Firecracker is still really good. I might take Firecracker and, uh, uh, let's see here. This is, uh, level, weapon level 69. Low, 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 Um, what's the highest reverser I have? Okay. That's pretty good. I'm gonna just take a healer. If I could, let's see. I'm gonna take a brute. It probably won't give me enough money for a brute. But if I get enough money for a brute, then I can just mow that dude down. Exterminate the monsters in this area. <sighs> Commence operation. Oh shit! I have the slaughter and the reverse shooter. I meant to take the, the firecracker and the reverse shooter. Yes, oh well. If we get the brute, we'll be fine. We are. Professional monster exterminators, but don't let your guard down. You'll be dead if you get hit by the acid. <laughs> We're not gonna get the brute, are we? The attack on the mysterious monster Urgenus has failed. Urgenus is on the run. Nope, completely pointless. On top of the escape route. What did you say? This is K6. Operation failed. Target escaped. I repeat. Operation failed. Target is on the run. Look at this. Some straight up bullshit. Not enough money for the brute. Well, we'll just have to hope we can uh, deal with our Guinness with our normal little ranger legs. will indeed pass through this area. Don't tell me it will pass through. It's already here. Coming to hell! It's too big. It's unlike any other monster we've seen before. Ah, uh, yeah. For <clears throat> Attack! All in all, uh... Are Firecracker is a better weapon the enemy the tanks for arrive. this. The tanks will arrive momentarily. Hang on. Attack Urgenus. He jumped backwards into me. This is Bull Leader. Enemy confirmed. Understood. Okay, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run away to my other marines. Oh, come on! Don't do that shit. If you get hit by that lightning breath, that's a like that's an instant KO. You are annihilated. It does an insane amount of damage. Tanks just arrived. Infantry, fall back behind the tanks. Yeah, <laughs> Marines up. Oh, those Marines are dead though. Ooh. 
Ooh, gotcha in midair. Look, it's bleeding. It's starting to bleed. Nice. Ooh. That was ugly. How can a creature make an attack like that? The creature's power is beyond our understanding. What a terrifying opponent. How could this creature sustain direct attacks from cannons? Is it invincible? An invincible monster does not exist. Or I guess the line is, there's no such thing as an unkillable monster. Yeah, yeah, see, it, it's running away like a little bitch. We'll live to fight another day. We had him, though. And I did that entire fight with literally nothing other than a shotgun. Reverser party. Oh my god, that sound effect. Alright, I think we can do another before I'm gonna call it. Uh, hmm. Now I wanna do something fun for this level, but I don't know what to do. The stork, uh, that's not very fun. Penetrator? No. Fork? No. Grenade? Flame geyser? Sadly, no. <laughs> I could try using a, uh, what, a uh, bound grenade? Get out of here. Bound grenade sucks. Alright, I will do firecracker. I guess slaughter just you know in case things get bad I don't know what would be a good vehicle to use because like using a bike could be fun again but uh, this is mountain terrain in this level and it's really not bike friendly I just don't know. Oh, whatever. You take high, the explosion proof suit, and uh, red ants can't even bite you. Yes, sir. Once we're back to the base, I'll buy you guys a good meal. Don't tell us we have to cook it ourselves. And what's wrong with that? <laughs> Please get us the best ingredients. Oh. No matter how bad we cook it, it will still be edible. Yeah, <laughs> that gun pops out to the side for a split second. Skeleton is making strange noises. 
That's because you have no idea how to handle it. Wait! I think I heard something. <sighs> Alright, bring it. Look! They're monsters! <sighs> the red ones! Monsters are coming out from the sand! Are right, you stupid monsters? monsters. <laughs> monsters were hiding out in the sand waiting for us! Marines, you can deal with this last guy. There we go. Underground. Go, go, go. Mission clear. Mission clear. No, it's not. <laughs> the mission is not yet clear. Okay, I was about to sing, but got cut off. Let's go. Oh, we are the valiant infantry. I won't leave you. I won't leave any of you Marines. Oh god. See, that's why we have the shotgun. Oh crap. Can't shoot them dead. Freak out. We can bring it down if we keep on shooting. Keep on firing. It'll eventually get hit. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, the slot. Oh, look. You can see these are the mutant red ants that have just showed up. Yes. The slaughter. Sh the shotguns in this game are incredibly good. And satisfying because of just how much damage it does. Fucking wipe out the entire damn planet. Now that's satisfying. This is Scout. Monsters confirmed. Let's see, the mutant red ants are not scary. Mutant normal ants, the golds, the gold ants, and the silver spiders can be scary. But, uh, yeah, the mutant red ants are like a non- like, they're barely more of a threat than a normal red ant. They aren't really anything to consider. Hey, Aaron. Jeez, there's so many red ants on this side. Oh god! I could have died by killing myself right there. Oh man, all oh, my marines. The 
war with the primers is far from over. Oh. Although EDF is able to stand against the enemies, the situation is becoming more overwhelming. We have the upper hand, but the situation has become stagnant. It is now a competition of patience, and the one who persists till the end will win. Oh, that but poor tank no just got killed. It almost we lasted till the very end. For this kind of situation. Namely, our three submarine Shame. carriers. Sad to see. The three carriers were immediately dispatched after the war begun, and they are waiting patiently under the sea. As long as we have Siren, Pandora, and Epimedia. This game is different than Serious Sam. still put up a fight. The air raid made it in time. Although we suffered heavy casualties, we saved yeah, And actually, lives. there's more thought put into where the enemies spawn in this game than, uh, what I've seen so far in Serious Sam 4. Well, that was fun. Yeah, I should probably end the stream. It's just satisfying. It's just inherently satisfying. I tell you. I tell you, Jimmy. The game is just inherently satisfying. Shooting the enemies. It's just the reactions of the enemies when they're being hit and everything. Just a well put together product. A well put together product. It's fun to just play with your buddies. Just play with randoms online that you don't even know. Good time. Alright. Alright, you have a good one, man. I'm gonna take off. Nighty night.